What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a champion path break for our good friend Pokemon Lover95. Um, one of the kind of like, not I'm not sure about OG is the right word, but a very old friend of the channel. And Pokemon Lover95 actually sent us a couple plushes. Really cute. Here's the Pikachu plush. And so Pokemon Lover95 has two CP ETBs. But just a quick reminder, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you check it out. We opened uh, four Vivid Voltage b, &B boxes, a really good opening. And uh, kind of announced on Friday during our live break, we're gonna be opening up four of these packs for a uh, randomly selected patron, uh, just as a small thank you for their support on Patreon. All right, so we got a total of 20 packs, two ETBs. In case you didn't know, we do offer breaks. Check out the Patreon page if you are interested in joining. These ETBs were picked up by Pokemon Lover 95 for the low awesome price of $40 a box. I feel like these things are still going for, I don't know, close to double that, like on eBay and such. So pretty great price if you ask me. Uh, I can't imagine there are too many places that offer a better price. Let's take a look at the promo. Looks pretty good. If you're interested in sending those to PSA, just let me know. And uh, all right, I'll just open both of these up first, just so we can, uh, we don't have to take a break in between. Crack this open. Yeah, Pokemon Lover 95 was actually the original creator of the Discord server that we have. Uh, link down below if you want to hang out. And so much cardboard and, and stuff. All right, another 10 packs and let's take a look at this promo they do a pretty good job of making sure these things are undamaged well i feel like the first couple that we opened had some like edge wear but uh, these look pretty good all right 20 packs good luck let's see if we can't find zard number two from champions path on this video best of luck and thanks again for the support we'll go through we'll still play a couple and then likely speed it up. Let me see, move these over here. These over here, all right. Yell Grunt, Lipard, Ekans, Carvana, Pokeball, a Potion, Rockruff, Beedrill is the reverse, and then a Lycanroc. I think we can go fast. Let's just, let's skip the, un, the commons. We'll go straight to the uncommons. Then into that rare slot. Which means we'll have to do four, two, and then move these to the back. All right, Sharpedo, Hyper Potion, Rotom Bike, a Sizzlepeed is our reverse. Ooh, all right, we got our first hit, Incineroar V. This, I feel like this one does have a really great art. I would say the only downside of this is there's too much red. There's not much contrast between Incineroar and the background, but very happy to pick up that hit. Let me grab some sleeves. Let me put you in a regular sleeve for now. Uh, I feel like the there might be something in this corner. It's very minimal. Uh, still has a chance of getting the 10 if you're interested in that. All right, Guardy Pack. All right, what we got? Water energies. Still uh, hoping to pull as many of those reverse energies. I think they are great. We got a Victini in the reverse, and then Professor Magnolia. But yeah, pretty excited for Vivid Voltage to release in earnest. Um, seems like we will, or I will, I am getting a good amount for breaks. Um, by chance, I happen to order more than I typically do it worked out because I mean for especially for a regular set it's pretty impressive how difficult it is to find you know good prices for a booster box whatever yeah Pokemon across the board is just so popular We've got uh, some of the Kanto power collection breaks coming up too and uh, running low on hidden fates tin so I did have to put those at regular price at $20 for patrons. We got our first reverse energy, grass energy, very nice. Oh, Gardevoir V, full art, double whammy pack. So yeah, Champions Path is capable of doing such things like hidden fates, much more difficult to pull off. This energy is kind of off center. Let's take a look at this beautiful Gardevoir. Ooh, I think this looks good. Maybe this, this section is a little bit thicker than the top. 
But yeah, I think uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go out on a Target Walmart run, see if I can't find any more stuff for breaks. More of those cancel boxes. Also, I can find some more HF tins. And uh, yeah, live opening Friday, evening 7 p.m. EST, come hang out with us. And we'll probably do some marbles and such at the end if you play the online game. All right, so far for this opening, we just got two hits uh, and one reverse energy. Wow, this pack is just disintegrating in my hands. Wow, like, of course, we want to keep a good ratio of about one hit every three packs. Man, we got to find that shiny Zard. We did manage to pull a rainbow rare V Max, but have yet to find that shiny. Milo, Rotom Phone, another Rotom Phone, and then a Lycanroc, kind of a dud pack. Gosh, when, these, when these packs open like this, it's actually kind of annoying. Um, not because it's difficult to open, but then after the after recording, when I'm trying to like clean up, there's just like bits of plastic all over. It becomes like confetti, so a bit of a hassle after the fact. Rotom phone into the Rotom bike for the next pack into a, another professor's research. All right, let's get some. Uh, let's get another hit. We are definitely due. All right, metal energy. Another Milo. Yell grunts. Ooh, another fire energy. Love these into a Zygarde. Running long space with the background. We'll, we'll stack these on here. All right, open up a little bit. But yeah, as always, um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Lover ninety five. As always, appreciate the support and thank you for allowing, giving me the pleasure of opening the. Oh, forgot. Nah, whatever. Opening these on your behalf. Go through kind of fast. Inkay, Nickets, a. Victini into Altaria. So I will say that one thing that um, kind of at least probably over the last year and a half when you open like random products like these random boxes and they always have like that XY pack in there. I'm like, oh, the 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 obligatory XY pack and for the longest time it's like evolutions I'm like ugh, I'm getting tired of evolutions don't really want anything from it um, eventually it, it seemed like there was a temporary shift to Steam Siege which I actually didn't mind because at least those cards I wasn't super familiar with but evolutions was like you know I was I'm a huge base set buff so evolutions didn't quite do it for me um, but uh, wow the tape the tables have turned where Evolution's boxes go up for like $500, totally insane. Which is why like that Kento box is really good. Even for $40, which uh, you know, a year ago I thought that pretty bad price. Lucario V, actually I feel like this, I do, I do not pull that often. And this is another one where the art is quite nice. It's a very nice hit there. Let's take a look at the centering. I feel like it's pretty good, maybe not perfect. So we'll have a penny sleeve for you anyway. But uh, yeah, those um, those are original art chars are the ones to go for. I think uh, I had to like look through some of my collection, and it's like, oh, I bet I have some of these just tucked away that are not even like sleeved because I didn't think too much of it. Uh, just like you know what, this is a reprint card. Happy to pull a Charizard. I was looking for like the the Mega one or the EX. And uh, we'll probably send those off to PSA. But yeah, we'll open some of those on Friday, hoping to find some of them. Definitely come hang out with us. All right, Machoke, Victini, Hop, 
a Sharpedo Reverse into Scrafty. Okay, so I feel like we're doing just okay. Where at the end of this, we're kind of hoping for like six hits or so. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. We're looking for six hits. We do have three plus three reverse energy. Ooh, saw something shiny. I feel like it's going to be a full art based on what I kind of saw from the corner of my eye. Don't think it was a rainbow. All right, light part into, is this a supporter? Uh, oh, hop. All right, we'll take a hop. I feel like I've been pulling a good amount of hops. Not too crazy about it, but uh, this one is pretty well centered. Always found hop to be a little, uh, a little annoying in the game. Because I, I like his, like, overly positive attitude. All right, running low on packs. Let's get a one or two more hits for Pokemon Lover. Rotom Bone. Hop again. Pierce, Incineroar number two. It's a good thing you have a nice art. Uh, definitely would take Incineroars over, I feel like the Grappalox are like the um, Pinsir or Wigglytuff of uh, Champion's Path. Or like those cards from Hidden Fates where it's like, eh, I guess I guess it's a GX, but um, not the one we're looking for. All right, three packs remaining. B Drill, Absol, Kabu, Malamar into a another Altaria. If you are into the idea of creating master sets, like some kind of like binder collection, I will say CP is going to be really easy to do. Um, even, you know, I guess if you just exclude the Zards, I think you could probably assemble on the secondary market like a master set for very, very cheap. For such a small set. And, you know, I don't think that many of the non Charizard hits are really going for much at the moment. We'll take a closer look at that when we finally get to another episode of Pokemon. I've been dying to do one of those. All right, last pack for Pokemon Lover 95. Once again, thank you for giving me the opportunity and the privilege of opening this on your behalf. Can we get something good in this last pack? Hyper Potion. Ooh, Reverse Water Energy. So we got almost all of them into a Obstagoon for our last pack. So I would say a little bit lower than the ideal ratio, but we did pretty good. Uh, two full arts, two Incineroars, a um, Lucario, and then the two promos do look good. So yeah, um, thanks Pokemon Lover 95, and uh, yeah, um, if you want to support the channel, like, comment, subscribe. As always, guys, down below, I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.